put them here on the line. <laughs> right? Okay. okay? Yes. So this is my new car? What do you expect it? What do you expect? Uh, a red one. A red one? You've got the wrong color as well. <laughs> and I'm really looking forward not to start. I think we got a lot of work ahead of us. It's never easy to fit one of those shoes, so I'm here to bring in everything I can to give my very best. He's a great champion, and I think I got a lot to learn from him, and at the same time, I got to with him. Pero de ahí a que sea una garantía que vayamos a ganar y que vayamos a ganar el campeonato, no hay ninguna. Entonces es para todas las personas que trabajan aquí. Cada vez que pasas por este pasillo te das cuenta de lo mal, ¿no? Y me dan más ganas de, de que mi nombre quede en, en la historia de esta gran, gran familia que, que lo es este equipo. Y, y con muchas ganas, ¿no? Ya de empezar. Por fin, aquí en McLaren, tu nuevo hogar. Tanta historia como, como todos los grandes pilotos que tuve. Estoy haciendo mucho trabajo físico. Pero ahora ya llegar y... Very special, very special to be part of the best team in, in Formula One. So, so I had a super Mercedes, so for my very special day. Uh, even though it's only interviews today, I, I really enjoyed it. Oh, it has been incredible, a very special day for myself uh, to come here as, as a driver, but wearing the kit already, it's it's very special day. It has been very emotional for myself to walk through the corridor, corridor and, and relax. Such such a name that has driven for this team is very special and so much looking forward no, to to start working and building a great relationship with my new family. He's an intelligent uh, driver and uh, you know he's clearly very ambitious. So I think he's got at the moment the right blend of of you know, pleasant humility, but underneath it the steely determination and, and self belief that he's going to be a world champion. Uh, and that's a delicate balance, and I think for a 22-year-old, he does it very, very well. He's very charming. Well, when you come into Boda for McLaren Mercedes, the target is to win. Everybody here in this company, in this team, in this family wants to win. Uh, and so my target is to win. That's why I came here, and I'm coming here to, to win, to win titles, to win races, and that has to be our target. With Sergio then, you know, we saw someone who's very young, very talented. Obviously in his rookie year in, in, in a Sauber, he did the fastest lap in Monaco, which I think drew lots of attention. A series of giant killing podiums uh, last year, uh, again in, in a Sauber, meant that uh, clearly he's someone, you know, I think probably the, the, the youngest, most highly rated uh, talent in, in the sport. Now, some people would say, you know, and have observed, well, perhaps he's too young for the pressure of McLaren, but I remember similar uh, discussions when Lewis came into the team. Well, I'm so much looking forward to, to work with Jenson. First of all, because he's a great guy. Second, because he's one of the best drivers in the world. He's a world champion and uh, he's the most experienced driver in, in the paddock. So definitely, I think it's, it will be a great teammate. I will learn a lot from him, but at the same time, I will try to beat him. I think they will they will get on uh, really well, and uh, but you know as the car pulls out of the garage, Checo will want to beat Jensen. Jensen will want to beat uh, Checo, and and that's I think an intriguing and an exciting dynamic that we look forward to being part of and or and all to witness. I am so much looking forward. I can't wait to to Melbourne, but uh, now the the pr the process has to be quick quick for myself. I have to adapt myself into the new the new challenges, the new car, uh, everything, no? So I think, I think we are heading in the right direction. There is a lot of pressure. You know, he will turn up in, in Australia with, you know, if in, at the end of Q3, if he's not in the first couple of rows, then the pressure builds. If during the race uh, he's not on the, on, on the podium, then pressure will build. Now, a lot of teams, you can turn up, you can be sixth, seventh or eighth or something in qualifying, you can score some points in the race, you can go home, job done, you're a professional racing driver. That's not what people expect of McLaren and not what they expect of McLaren drivers. So he, he probably isn't fully aware yet of that pressure and that's why you know, we've got to really work very hard with him now to really prepare him to make sure that his weekend, you know, he's focused on the job he has to do. He's prepared for all of those pressures and all of the things that will be placed upon him, but not distracted 
uh, not stressed by them.